Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, Tribe of Scorching Sands. So we've been working with this tribe here and we've actually uh, had some pretty cool creatures that emerged right at the end of last episode. We've got the Poison Fangs back in, we've got Albinism in with Vanuku and some of the other creatures. And we're basically going to try and get these guys back to the savannah and see if we can... Is he blind? He is blind, right? Yeah, he's ended up being blind. I forgot we had a blind creature in this one. Um, but yeah, we're going to end up hopefully heading back to the savannah and trying to get our creatures adapted to that climate on the way. I don't think... Okuro's not actually in our tribe, is he? No, he isn't. Okay, he was just wandering around, that's right. He's the blind wanderer, I forgot. I forgot we had him here. Uh, but yeah, so we can go ahead and I think... what? How far were we from unlocking lean body? We were some ways from unlocking it. So we need to get back there to try and work on that. Uh, but if we find a creature with lean body... Wait, do you have lean body? She has lean body! How does she have lean body? Does he have lean body? No. Okay, Coco is going to be a very important breeding creature, actually. Um, we need to keep her... I'm going to put her on yellow because yellow is a sort of deserty color. So we're going to actually bring her this way. How did she take so much damage? Um... We're going to bring her that way, sort of, well, just walk away from me. Um, there we, no. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to try and get these guys off to another island pretty soon here. But for now, oh yeah, she's sick. So hopefully she, oh, she's going to stay sick though. So we'll move this way. Let's actually come over here, attack and kill that one. Oh, did he? Ah, he took our food. We can't even attack him because he'll hurt us. All right. So we were going to get... Let's have Coco keep moving this way. Is this baby sick? This baby is sick. We need to gather. And then I'm going to move him back so he's not near any of the sick creatures. And then let's move Vanuku over here. Get him on the tiles. And then Lala also needs to get on the tiles here. Because we're going to have them head out. So we have F and I and F and I. They don't have very good fertility, though, is the issue. Do we have better... We haven't survived long enough. Okay. And she has pretty good. So we eventually we want to have them in the uh, definitely in the family. And then we want... There's Coco. Let's see. So we have E as well. She has H and F. And she has secondary poison fangs as well. Who all has lean body? Let's look and see. Gene, where'd it go? Medium body, lean body. Roduke Duke has it as well. Kervonku and Lara both had it. So Coco, Anarala, Roduke Duke, Anisko, Ronu, and Anasa. We Okay, we can't bring Anisko because she's sick. We can bring Ronu. We can bring Anasiana. And we can bring Reduke Duke. And we could probably bring Anarala as well. So let's see. How old is she? All right. And so then we have Anasana can come. Anasiana can come. Can't pronounce any of their names. Good gracious. Uh, Dukir does not have it. Who else? Okay. Roduke Duke has it. Have we gathered everything off here? Yes. And don't go near Coco. Be careful. F and A. She doesn't have it. They do. Have, some of them do have good uh, fertility, though. So we want Anarala to come. Ramesi, I think, will come over here and start attacking this crabbit. And then... Who else was it? It was, it, it was Ronu. Okay, we want to bring Ronu as well. So let's start a new day. And let's... Uh, let's make sure we gather. So I don't know that Duke here. Oh, hey, no. Ah, he took our berries. I really want him out of here. No, he's gonna take more berry. Okay. He needs to come because lean body. We can get over here. We can attack this bunny, I hope. Can we? Yes. And then we can come. Oh, wait, we didn't even. Oh. We killed it over there. Okay. Alright, we'll come get that one later. Ana Isco can keep moving. Oh, there's another there. 
this way, and then we need to move Ronu this way, and then Coco, oh, Coco could come and gather, okay, no, she couldn't actually, all right, you can kill and gather that bunny's meat, though, and then let's attack the crabbit, attack, attack, and then we'll gather the crabbit meat, and then we'll start moving this way. We're gonna get pretty much everyone off this island as soon as we can here, I think. So let's start a new day. It's now raining, okay. So gather from here, excuse you, no. All right, we're not gonna, all right, let's see. We've gotta get, nope, you don't get to gather from there. We're coming over here. He can attack that berry bush. She can kill this bunny. Let's come over here. Is he fishing? Are there any berry bushes over here? There is a berry bush here. So let's have her come there. And then, oh no, somebody else is fishing. Tanu, Tanu, you're drowning. Get out of the water. Oh, get out of the water quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come here, Tanu. Hop up, quickly. Okay, he's okay. He did steal our food, which is not so good, but uh, we'll bring him with us because he has that, he has E and I, and I don't know that we really have that. So what we have is F-I, oh, we do have I, F-I-H-E-A-I-D-I-H-F, and then we're going to get a few more creatures. Who has a leech? Who's got a leech? It's you. All right, let's get the leech off, and then we will start one last new day. And then we're going to get, okay, he has lean body, he's coming. Let's see. We can actually put her up here, have her destroy this, and then come back down here. Let's make sure he's not coming. He can do everything he can to destroy it, gather, try to destroy it. Oh, we got it. All right. And then Ronu's coming, right? Yes. All right. And then for being blind, that guy still does get around pretty well. Oh, there's another darn it. And then let's come over here and gather from there. And uh, let's see, I think that's all. Is there, there's, yeah, there's nothing really. Oh, there was one over there, unfortunately, but nobody can reach it in time. But I think we're gonna have these guys head out. Let's clear that notification off. And yeah, let's have these guys head out to the next island. We have enough food, I think, to get us there. And we're going to set up some breeding, uh, breeding colonies pretty soon here. But we do need to keep it moving. Alright. So we have a partial savanna island. And we've got, this is, I think, where we want to go, up here. We want to get up that way if we possibly can. So let's come this way. All right, we don't have anybody... Oh, we do have some poison fang creatures. So he can gather from there. Vanuku we need to find a mate for. And we preferably someone with a better fertility. Although we may end up... We might end up breeding him with a Lala, even though they're similar. Okay, she needs better eyes. And... Everything else seems okay. He needs better. He's actually good, all right. Okay, so we'll try. Oh, that actually worked the first time. We're gonna try and breed them. And there is a chance of having sick babies, but we want to keep, we wanna try and get the poison fangs in the family, I think, and try to get, ideally what we want is a poison fang with a, some better fertility. And then let's see if we have Coco, H and F. Let's breed Coco with him as well. Okay, we'll kill this and then we'll try. There we go, it actually did work the first time. And then let's gather here. Everybody else, can she, she can't gather that. H and E, H and E, D and I, Honorala. And the, I think these guys should breed. All right, let's keep trying. And then we'll have her, we're gonna have all these guys end up moving this way. Let's have him come over here. E and I, H and E. We may try breeding them as well, but we'll see. Let's have him come this way, and we'll have him come up here. There we go. We'll start a new day. There we go. 
Was that a crab it washing up again? Uh oh, who's sick? Is it the baby? It's the baby, okay. Uh, let's destroy this nest, come up here, and have her make a nest. He's gonna come over here and gather. She can come here, and then they can breed, and she'll head up this way. And then Coco is gonna head up this way as well. Oop, she can't actually kill that bunny though. Which is probably exactly why the bunny's not even scared of them. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's gather. And then we'll sit here and gather. And then we'll come up here maybe and gather. There we go. Alright, and then the baby will probably end up being a, a collector if... Okay, he is... he's sick. So he'll probably stay here actually. Alright. Let's gather. You can attack that dude. And then let's have these guys head inland. None of them are super, um... Okay. These guys are gonna head inland. Is the leech? No, the leech left, actually. There's another leech coming, though. Let's attack this leech, and then I'm gonna move him up here. And then Vanuku is gonna move up here as well. And let's have her come here, attack the crabbit, and we can gather the crabbit, and then there's a shell. And then Lala, I'm gonna bring up here. And then Coco, Coco needs to nest soon as well. We should probably destroy that nest too. Alright, let's move the baby out. And we'll come here and destroy the nest, and I'll have her move, start moving this way. And then he can stay here and gather and uh, help get some food. And then how about this guy? Kirvan. Okay. I and F. He did get the poor fertility, though. All right. We really need to prioritize, though. Um, where'd she go? Coco having her baby. Oh, let's get her in this nest. There's two nests right here. Okay. Do we have... Let's breed these guys. And then if I can get to her, there we go. We'll have her sit in this nest. And then let's make sure we're gathering. Oh, hey, no. That's our food. We'll have these guys very much establish that this is their territory. Anna Siana probably needs to breed as well pretty soon here. And then let's have Tanu. Uh, Tanu can possibly help fight that crabbit soon. And then let's see if that leech is not going to come near him. Okay. So let's start a new day. All right. Oh, no. That probably wasn't the best idea. We also have um, Rariko. Rariko, okay. I want her. Is she, does she have any immunity to... Okay. Where is the immunity? Immunity H. Darn it, though. Oh, she's going to get a little bit sick. So let's have everybody step back. Coco is going to come and breed, and we'll move Kirvan out, and we'll come over here, and then you need to step away from there so you don't get sick. There we go. We'll keep attacking. They've got to be able to do this. Come on. Are you kidding me? Ah, why is that so difficult to kill a crabbit? All right, Ronu is a little bit... Who has a leech? Who's got a leech? Who's got a leech? Is it you? It's you. Okay. Let's get rid of that leech, and then we'll come up here. You can attack this leech and continue to gather, and then we'll have him continue moving up this way. We're going to send everybody inland, basically, and see... If we can find... Okay, so Anarala needs to, um... Uh, needs to have... Okay, please don't get sick. Okay, is she not sick? She's not sick. Okay, we're moving her... We're moving, um... Race away as fast as we can. And then Rariko... Do, how is she? She's got... She's got better immunity. Okay, or better fertility. That's good. So we're going to, I think, H and F again. I think she's gonna be an alpha... And then, let's see. Let's attack. 
These guys have to be able to take this Krabbit out. Are you kidding me? Let's come over here. There we go, finally. It's about time. And then, uh, on Arala, we decided D and I, H and E. Did it work? No, we have to try again. Did we have anyone? Okay. Let's breed these guys. There we go. And then let's put her in this nest. And then this baby is sick. Oh yeah, so Coco needs to breed as well. There we go. And let's have Kirvan. I'm gonna have him move this way so that he's away from the sick babies. So these guys are probably going to end up being cactus collectors. Oh, but we got to gather from this toxic berry bush, and we'll try to gather. Oh, we got it! Okay. And then Taro can come here. And let's go ahead and... Okay. Is there anything more here that we smell? Any berry bushes or anything? No, there's not a lot because it's the savanna. We really... Uh-oh, that's a rogue. That's a rogue male. We need to get to the area up here and out of this big savanna. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to actually move him up here as well. Let's start a new day. All right. So these guys, she's going to move here and end up being a cactus collector. She's going to move up here. Let's have him come and destroy this nest. And then Rariko is going to actually start moving onward already. There is another cactus up here, too. All right, let's see. Here we go. Let's have... Is this baby sick? This baby is not sick. So I and F, and then Coco needs to sit here. Let's gather. I'm going to have her... We're gonna, we got to focus on breeding Coco right now. And then who else? On Isana, H and E. We have an H and E, don't we? On a raw, a D and I, she does definitely need it, though. Alright, she can nest right here. So, on a raw, E and I, H and E. Let's try and breed them. So these guys do have potential of having some bad, um, or some bad immunity going on as well. Let's make sure we keep gathering from here. And that is a mosquito pond, so I'm going to actually shift over here so it can't reach as easily and then let's have him continue exploring this way we'll go ahead and uh, start another day so the babies are both sick there and we'll have him keep gathering and he can try to dig and then she can gather she'll start coming up here and then these guys will step away all right, is he, he's okay, F and I, I and F, okay. Let's move her this way. We'll come over here, breed them. Is that a rogue? That is a rogue who's sick with K immunity though, huh? I think, whoa, who is this? Nunu, C and H, come here, Nunu. Join us, Nunu. Oh, there is a berry bush here that he can't actually gather from. All right, he can dig though. And that is a rogue. Nunu has the big ears as well, which we'll want to try and breed in. He does have bad eyesight, so we want to get normal eyes in. But he also has C and H, and he has... He's got a bad leg, so we need to try and get that out. Uh, but otherwise, he's pretty good. And then we have Honorala. And Roduke are continuing to breed H and E, I and E. We've got that hemophilia in, too, which is really not good. And then she needs to breed. Let's see. That rogue didn't actually... Oh. That's no good. I don't know if he's not targeting her because of the spike body, but that could be the case. Let's come over here. And then I think... Yeah, we should be okay. Are there mosquitoes? I don't think there are actually mosquitoes. All right, our food is supply is dropping rapidly because we have a lot of uh, creatures. Oh no! 
She died in the nest. I didn't realize she was going to die in the nest. And a lot of you guys were commenting on how pretty the blue eyes are, and they really are. <laughs> Honestly, I do like the new eye style. I wasn't sure if I would or not at first. Okay, she's sick. I think we'll put a pink gem in the middle to indicate a sick creature. So we know to keep them away. Oops, I keep skipping past it. So we know to keep them away from other creatures. And they'll have pink and then green. And so she is sick. She is going to end up being a cactus collector. And then he is okay. Uh, let's, though, get Honorala. Um, we, we wanted... Where'd he go? Here. There we go. <laughs> that's probably the only time we've ever sought out... Oh, she's sick. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's destroy this. I'm going to bring her over here, and we'll have the baby move away, and then this baby is not sick, so let's get her back in there, and then I think Roduke will continue to move on. Let's have a Tanu move up here and help gather from this berry bush, and we'll help gather up here. There's another nest, and then Nunu. Is there any, uh, there is a, a digging spot up here as well. Oh, but we're getting to, out of the savannah, so that is good. Let's have Kirvan move this way. And Tara will move this way as well. It's interesting that this rogue actually has albinism too. I didn't realize that. And he's also sick, but he guarantees the K immunity. Um, oh, we can't move him there. Never mind. Can we attack? Yes, we can. Okay. And then I think we'll go ahead and start one more day. All right. So she's going to get a pink gem and end up moving to being a cactus collector. I'll move her over here and have her gather. And then she can come here and gather. And we'll have Rariko continue moving on. Oop, there's lots of cactus there. So we'll go that way. And then Nunu with C and H. I almost want to breed her in Nunu in some ways. I'm not sure, but maybe. We'll see. And let's have our Duke Duke come and help clear the path. And then these guys can help clear another path. Here we go. And then Kosis, Tavon, these guys are both healthy, which is good. And then Vontata is also healthy. And Race is not healthy. Nukir is going to keep moving. What does Nukir have? F and I. H and F. So I kind of want to breed him because then we can try and get, yeah, we're going to breed Nukir and, um, and her. Let's see. Yeah, I think we want to breed these guys eventually and possibly them as well. And then we have Isrere is sick. So let's have her move this. We'll have her move away. We'll have her. She can destroy that nest and make a new nest. And then we'll make sure we're gathering here. We'll try to gather there. Let's also, wait. No, okay. No, that was all right. It's this one who's sick who we need to stay back from. Okay. And this rogue is interesting. He does have good, I mean, at least he has good um, fertility. So we'll go ahead, we'll go for one more turn. Oh no, we've had some creatures that are now taking damage from uh, hunger. Okay, Rariko is okay. Nunu's okay. Nukir is okay. These guys should all be on alpha. We do need to designate Omegas as well. Okay, she just passed away. She might. Yeah, she just did. And then we have Kuta, who actually got the albinism trait and has pretty good, like, he has, he got the high fertility. So let's first focus on his eyes and his, um, his paw, because he does have a no paw. And then this one, she's going to be on Omega. She's going to come here. Let's have Von Tata. Okay, who all is taking damage? We should have 
All the ones that are sick need to be on Omega. Because they are... They're going to cause problems. And so we do have to uh, prioritize the healthy creatures. Let's go this way. We might have to have Von Nuku start become a cactus collector. What about Taro? I don't know. Let's see. Kirvan. I and F. So these guys, we don't have... The trouble is we don't have enough gatherers. Bro, Duke, Duke, H and E. E and I. I don't know that we really want Tanu. Okay, where is... There is a berry bush here. We can have... Him kill this bunny. Oh, he didn't even kill it. Of course he did. Ah. Okay. Let's see. There's lots of bunnies around here. So we need to start... Okay, there's a healing plant up here, though. That's good to know. Alright, we're gonna start gathering this grass around here. These guys are gonna start coming over here to help. And uh, gathering over there. And then we need Lala is gonna destroy this and start moving this way. And then Kosis is gonna move this way as well. Is he gonna? He's probably not. All right. Then Tavon needs to start moving as well. And let's look at real fast. Okay, we have F and I, so I think we're gonna put Lala on Alpha. She does have poor eyesight, but we are trying to get rid of that. And then we're gonna put um, Kuta on Alpha because he has K and he's the only one to have it even though he is a rogue child. And then H and E. I think we have several H and E's. We have E there. I think he's gonna go on Omega and end up gathering from the cactus here because we have other, we have F and E, we have other H immunities, right? Uh, yeah, we have Nunu. Nunu has H, and Nunu has a lot. Well, he doesn't have better fertility, uh, but he has these big ears that we're going to be trying to breed in anyway. So, let's see. And then we have Tanu with E and I. So we have... Oh, she has H as well. And then we have I. I don't know. Let's see. Tanu's actually pretty good. We do want to get those flipper feet out of there. I think Tanu, though, is going to be one who stays. We'll have Tanu. He also has the nimble fingers, so we'll have him come over here and try to help. We have 17 creatures. I think we have more than enough Omegas at this point. So, But I think we're going to go ahead and actually leave off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.